there's 75,000 pounds. In, in this rack right here, there's 75,000. This cranberry bog is something right out of a commercial. Hi, we're Ocean Spray Cranberry Growers. For juice, dried fruit, the list goes on. I put them in cookies, cereal. But cranberry farming is no gimmick, and this lucrative business is growing from historic roots in Massachusetts up into northern New York State. This is a good growing area. Uh, every year they turn ripe earlier than they do in Massachusetts. We're harvesting uh, 20,000 pounds to the acre, and sometimes we do as much as 30. This Cape Cod-based grower has been farming his own berries for 35 years, harvesting in New York for a decade, though he's one of few so far. Some might call this place a little unusual. There aren't many cranberry growers in northern New York. Despite the waterworks, cranberries actually grow dry. The beds are flooded with water during the harvest, and then it's just a matter of getting the cranberries to the top. We call it reeling. It's just uh, loosening the berries from the stems. They're hanging upside down, and when we hit them, they fall off and they float to the surface. Eventually, the bog, or bed, becomes this. 75,000 pounds of cranberries floating together. While this machine separates all the leaves and twigs. Usually we have a truck that comes here with a full load of berries and we dump it into the pool here where they get washed, they get put into the building, into a hopper, and they get loaded into 1,200 pound totes. But that's not the case this time. This time they're being brought back to Massachusetts and made into concentrate. Last year, some Massachusetts growers saw climate change affecting the crop among other issues, overly warm air interrupting the usual color change process. Paquin hasn't seen any of that here. In any state, perhaps what's most appealing for prospective growers is longevity, but it's not an easy job. Once you plant them, uh, you might keep that bed going like that for 50 years or 100 years. I'm not gonna, <laughs> but uh, it's, it's a lot of work. And most people that want to invest want to just invest, they don't want to do the work. Uh, but this is, to me, the ideal spot for cranberries. So much so that even he is plotting to expand and making even more berries. For Mountain Lake Journal, I'm Tamika Weatherspoon.